Hey everybody, Donnie Gardner here with BostonTerrierSociety.com and today we're going to be talking about what it's like owning a Boston Terrier. So if you're someone who's looking at getting a Boston Terrier for the first time or adding a new addition, this is the video for you. So six things I'm going to cover. First off, if you're okay with farts and gas, snoring, having a little bit of a clinger, stage five clinger, kind and gentle, that's definitely one of the number one traits of a Boston Terrier. They're a great watchdog and family friendly. So first off, let's get into the gas. Actually, rewind that. My wife and I, we bought Bella, our Boston Terrier, back in 2009, and we were amazed at how gassy these dogs are. So Boston Terriers are notorious for stinky farts. I mean, she can clear a room. That's how bad it is. One trick we tried to do was give her some yogurt. Uh, I remember reading online that that could potentially help lessen the amount of gas in her. Uh, that didn't seem to work very much. We just laid off any type of human food. So gas, expect that. Next is snoring. One of the things I always joked with whenever we first got boss or Bella, our Boston, was it was like sleeping with a 40 year old man because at night she would snore and snore loud. She's kind of grown out of that now that she's 10 years old. She doesn't really snore as much but that's one thing you're gonna have to consider when you own a Boston Terrier. Next, clingy. So Boston Terriers, whenever you're home, they love to be right there by your side. Whenever we get home, Bella will just get as close as possible or on top of you while on the couch. If Emily and I were right next to each other, Bella would just squeeze right in between us and put her head and that's where she wants to be. They love to burrow, so they're gonna be right there next to you and if they can't fit, like they will scoot behind your back in the couch. Next is kind and gentle. Bostons are very loving dogs. They love to be around people. They love kids. We've had some issues and that's just, I think our training part of her with other dogs. But as far as coming into contact with people, they absolutely love people. They'll lick everyone to death. Next watchdog, Bella makes an amazing watchdog. No, she's not a good guard dog, meaning if anybody ever came into the house, I think she'd run to us. But as far as barking, she will let us know if anybody's coming up to the house, like the UPS man with packages. She'll bark before I even know anybody's coming up the stairs to notify us. And on the barking front, Boston's barely bark. So that's also a plus. Um, next, family friendly. So we own Bo or Bella keep saying Boston. We owned Bella, our Boston, for eight years before we had Sophia, our first kid. And we didn't know how she would do. Whenever we brought Sophia in, the way we introduced her was we brought in some clothes from the hospital. We let Bella smell the clothes. And then we introduced Sophia and Bella. They got along great. There's never been any issues. The only one incident instance was when Bella nipped at her, but that was because Sophia grabbed her face. So I think that's okay. Um, I mean, not okay that she nipped at her, but it wasn't like Bella was the aggressor. So those are the big six things is they're gassy. They snore a lot. They're very clingy, but they're kind and gentle. They're a great watchdog and family friendly. And then back to the barking. What I love most is they do not bark. The only time they bark is at you. And maybe if you leave for a good period of time, like Emily and I, we would leave for work, sometimes 12 hours at a time. I snuck back once and she was howling. That was the one of three times I ever caught her doing that. So I love that, especially whenever we're out walking her and there's another dog losing its ever loving mind and Bella is cool as a cucumber. So once again, Boston Terriers are great dogs. If you have any questions about Boston Terriers, please leave it in the comment below and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's going to be more videos coming out on Boston Terriers. And also, bostonterriersociety.com has a wealth of information about Bostons, and pretty much anything you can think of question-wise has been answered there. So have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.